you're looking to buy furniture, you might, some people want to look for original finish, or maybe they, they see it's very trendy to paint furniture right now. You see the milk paint movements and the, the chalk paint movements, and they layer the paint and they sand it down and it gives great looks. And, and some people cringe. They cringed more before when brown furniture was more popular. Uh, at the same point in time, we go back, and if you go back 100 years, you look at museums that were refinishing things because they thought that's what it was. You know, often people would buy a, a, finish, a piece of furniture that was in its original finish because they wanted to be the ones to refinish it because they wanted to know that it was done right or done this and that. So, and when you look at restoration and refinishing, you have to ask the question, is, did it lose value because it was refinished or did it lose value because it needed to be refinished? If you come across a piece that's been heavily repaired, the price should reflect that. In other words, if you have something in perfect condition that would have been worth $2,000 with an old finish all original and the tops replaced and the feet are replaced and it's refinished, then it's probably worth $500. Now the drawers still may work really well. If it's worth that to you for utilitarian or decorative purposes, that's fine. But just don't pay the price for something that's not right. If you go and refinish a piece that didn't need to be refinished, you might be degrading value. And that's one factor for one style piece of furniture. At the same point in time, you might find pieces of furniture that are totally out of style, that are copies of an original. And often, if it's been reproduced later, it's not gonna have as much value. And if you wanna put a coat of paint on that and make it work, I don't think it's any different. And we're seeing a lot of that going on. The shabby chic movement a few years ago, you know, that's coming back and we're seeing a res resilience there with the, you know, the various milk paints and chalk paints. So people are painting things, you do want to choose what you paint and you do want to be a little educated about what you're going to throw a coat of paint on. A lot of people are doing it and the pieces were, are decorative to begin with and they'll be decorative or more decorative when you're done. I always tell people if, if you want to do something to it that makes it more what you want in your house, then you're not lowering the value, you're making it more useful to you.